What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Triple C back here with an, another fragrance video. Um, today I'm gonna bring you my top pickups of 2023. I have about eight here with two honorable mentions. Um, this is what I picked up throughout the year. Um, I'm gonna give a little, little brief description of them, not nothing in depth. Um, once again, I hope everybody's having a good holiday season. Um, I have 10 fragrances here, two are honorable mentions, and um, I'd like to get started. Before I, I do that, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. I will comment right back to you. Um, with that being said, let's just get started with the list. First one I got, I got this around, I want to say October of this year. It's, um, it's real, it was popular, kind of blind about this. I usually don't do this, but the fragrance is relatively cheap, so I didn't really see a risk in it, and it smells really good. It is Sublime by Latafa. Um, it's uh, basically, it has like a real fruity smell. Um, it's a little oud in the background, but it's real... Kind of reminds me of like canned, like the canned uh, mixed um, uh, fruits that, you know, can, like the, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, the cocktail, fruit cocktail from back in the day. It comes in a can and put a little oud in the background. Um, like I said, I picked this up on Amazon for like 40 bucks. It was really good deal. Um, it's a Latafa subline. My second honorable mention, um, I got this at Sephora, um, smelled it, thought it was something I've never had in my collection. I have another, um, something in the same wheelhouse, but not exactly the same. This is Kaoli uh, Pistachio Gelato. Um, real, like has the note of a, the pistachio. If you can see up there, that blue bottle, is a man it has the same note of pistachio in it um lasts about eight eight hours on my skin um uh i believe this retails for like 120 um really good scent it's it's marketed towards women but i think i can pull it off um once again that is kaoli pistachio gelato and to start, there's no, there's no particular order for this list. Um, it's just stuff I picked up throughout the year. And I think it's probably my, some of my best pickups. Um, we're just going to start with <laughs> this one. Um, I smell, I smell this. I got a sample of this, um, from Lucky Scent about a year ago. And <clears throat> really the only place I could find it was Lucky Scent and, uh, uh, I came across a deal online that I smelled it. I know what it smells like, and I just went for it. Um, it is by 1969, and it's La Habana. It's um, some of these fragrances you see is kind of marketed towards like a scene and time. This is one of them. It's kind of marketed towards like Cuba, like you know South Beach, Miami, like the Cuban scene because it's it's um very spicy and it's really loud like if you ever been down to you know little havana and, and um in miami this is kind of a if you've been there this, this scent will kind of remind you of that um picked it up last all day you're gonna get i get at least 10 hours out of out of it um and i really don't see any any like standalone reviews for this i may have to do one because i don't i've checked on youtube and there's nobody really talking about this this is a very good scent. Let's get that is 1969 La Habana. Uh, the next pickup I have is another another cheapy. Um, picked this up because I was I was just curious. Um, I don't own the it's a clone. I don't own the original, but it's so many dupes and of this scent. It's a it's a dupe of a, it's a clone of. Baccarat 540. Um, you can find that. It's crazy when you can find. You can find that at TJ Maxx, Marshalls now. Um, this one I picked up online. 
I know this house does clones very well and it, for the price you really can't beat it. Um, what I picked up was um, Club Nuit Untold. It's a, it's a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. It's pretty spot on. It's a little, I would say it's a little stronger maybe than X-Straight. I've, I've smelled that a couple of times. I just can't remember. Um, what exactly, you know, the difference between the two is. It's been a while. But I picked this up for, I want to say, 45 on a Joma shop. Excuse the fingerprints. You can kind of see it's a fingerprint monster. But anyway, picked this one up. Uh, I want to say August. It's a real good scent. It smells just like Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, and All Mouth does clones very well. It's probably one of the, that and Latafa. It's probably the two most notable houses that do clones. Um, I get about eight hours out of it. It's a really good scent. Um, I don't need, it's no need to buy the Baccarat 540. You know, that retails for about 330 now. This cost me $45. Smells just like it. Again, that is Untold by Club, by Armoff. It's Club De Wit. They knew it. Untold by Armoff. Um, the next pickup I had this year, this one, um, I want to say I got this um, around March. And um, just the the scent of the name of it kind of got my attention. Um, it is City Rhythm, and it's City Rhythm Miami Tropical Confessions. This is a very tropical scent, hence the name. Um, I, I I see my I wear this in the warm months. It does very well in the in the warm months of the year. Um, very fruity, uh, smell a little like, I want to say fruity and a little like woodsy in the background. It's very, it's a different scent. I have nothing like this in my, in my collection. Um, and I, a couple people I've seen online talking about this very good scent. If you, I want to get some more from the house. Um, I'll pick this up. I think, I believe March, um, really good scent, spring, summer scent all, all year round. Um, yeah, that is City Rhythm, Miami, Tropical Confessions. Moving on up, I picked up another, um, Latafa, uh, uh, it's really not a clone. It's kind of hard to say without saying Latafa and clone at the same time. Um, but this one is Honor and Glory. I get Pineapple Brulee. Pineapple with a little oud in the background. It's real subtle. It's not not strong. Um, I paid. I think you can get all most of these latafas I've got on Amazon for around forty forty five. Just depends on the day. Um, like I said, pineapple, pineapple brulee with a hint of oud in the background. Very nice. Nobody is. It's non offensive. It's not gonna offend anybody. Um. Like most Latafas, they last about eight hours. Can't go wrong. Uh, 40, 40, $45 on Amazon. This is Honor and Glory by Latafa. Um, see here, the next one I have is, is, um, is one that is, um, being, is, it's discontinued, but you can still find it. It's weird. Um, and it is by the house of Gucci. And it is Gucci Intense Oud. I mean, man, this one. Smooth, subtle. It's like a little, it's a little incense, a little rose, and a little oud all combined. Really blended well, in my opinion. Compared to what Gucci has out now, I don't understand why they had to discontinue this. This one is nice. Um, excuse me, y'all. Um, Gucci Intense Oud. I picked this up on Jumbo Shop. Uh, I want to say uh, early September. They had a Jumbo Shop always has deals. Um, they had a deal on this, and I, I smelled it from back in the day, and I passed on it because it just wasn't ready for rose and oud and a little incense. Just my nose wasn't there. And I found this again. I was like, I got to grab it. Um, Gucci Intense Oud. 
If you if you like rose oud and a little incense, I would give this a try. Check on Joma Shop. Um, that's why I got this. I really got to be careful online. And some of the other sites like because this they'll they'll want three hundred dollars for this. And I wouldn't pay that much for it. Um, one one hundred to maybe one forty. It's pretty good. It's a good scent. Once again, that is Gucci Intense Oud. And let's see, <clears throat> another one that I picked up that I've been looking for, got a scent. Um, I usually just go on Lucky Scent and just hit random stuff that I never heard of, like the name or what, what's the notes in it. And this one I'm going to show you is um, it's from a house that people talk about, but then they don't talk about. Um, it's from the house of Chris Collins. He's a former polo model term i guess fragrance i don't know connoisseur or whatever you want to call it but this is vita cormium it's nothing like i've smelled in my all my collection nothing smells like this it's like incense um a little leather a little wood in the background i don't smell any oud it's 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 very hard to describe um but I got a sample of it and it, it wore good on me last uh, eight hours. Um, and it's hard to find. I found it for a good, a good deal. Um, I want to, I heard he has another one, another, uh, release out that I, I need to get my nose on, but I will in due time. Gotta have patience in this game. Um, once again, that is Chris Collins, Vita Cormeo. And it's EDP, um, really good. I would sample before you buy it. Um, Lucky Scent, it's the only place I've seen it that they have samples for, but you can, I'm pretty sure it's pretty more, pretty, um, some more um, sample places online that you, you can pick this up. Once again, it is Chris Collins, Vita Cormium. Moving on up. Um, next one I'm gonna bring to you is another niche one. This is the the name is I tried it I sampled it on Lucky Scent the name just I was just curious um, it is <laughs> it is uh, African leather by Mimo and um, I was just curious I was like Africa you know safari leather what's it smell like <laughs> um, like it's just spicy leather little. A little cinnamon in the background too. It is spicy. This is like a this is like a grown up spice bomb, if I would say. I wouldn't it doesn't go in the vanilla route spice bomb extreme or spice bomb goes, but it's very spicy. Perfect for honestly Christmas time. In the winter months, this thing is is good. Um picked this up, got a great deal for it. Um like I said before, you got to sample, especially these, some of these niche fragrances where, you know, you can't, buy, I wouldn't recommend buy, blind buying anything over $150. Just don't do it. Just get a little sample of it and see if you like it. Um, once again, this is African Leather by Memo. If you like spices, this is, um, I would recommend this, but try, sample it first. Um... And moving on up to another, I wouldn't call this niche. I would just call this next one a high-end designer, in my in my opinion. It is Af Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. Um, picked this up, uh, I want to say it was late June. I went to uh, where, I, where I live. We have a Louis Vuitton, luckily. Went in there and smelled it. Um, it was like, wow, this is... This is my type of aquatic. It's obviously it's a blue fragrance. It's called Afternoon Swim. Very, very blue fragrance. Last um, for blue fragrance to last past seven hours, it's, it has to be good. It lasts about seven and a half on my skin. Now I would say if you have a Louis Vuitton, go in there. You can get a free little sample of them. Um, you just have to check periodically because they sell out so f well. They sell sell out a little free sample so fast. Um, it's a couple more that I'm interested in: Pacific Chill, Imagination. 
the two that I, I really like. Um, it's no discount code for this. I had to pay the full three hundred dollars for this, but um, you can you can get a refill, and it's two two ten two twenty, which it's not bad. Um, once again, that is afternoon swim. This is it's probably gonna be my summertime staple. It's good, um, good summertime fragrance. I probably wear this. Uh, Maybe in during the day or like early evening. It's really good for that. Last all day. Once again, that is Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. And have two more. Sorry for the long video. If y'all still here, I really appreciate it. Um, this next one is from a house that um I I found online that from another fragrance reviewer, Raj. Um. He's always he was talking about this and I the name alone I was like okay let me just try it I got a sample of it I was like wow it is 4160 Tuesdays um this is this one is over the chocolate shop I mean you see how dark the juice is is a realistic version of like if you was to go in a a bakery that had uh, a candy shop that just done chocolate it smells just like chocolate now if you're not a gourmand lover stay away this is chocolate to the to the tea like it smells just like a piece of like godiva a, a good brand of chocolate or homemade chocolate lasts about strong maybe six hours but after that it kind of becomes a scent, skin scent and that's what i kind of wanted to do i just don't want to smell like you know chocolate really strong projection of chocolate all day so Picked this up, uh, well, I think it was last month. I, I finally found a price where I could pay for it that I thought it was reasonable. Uh, I paid about a, uh, 50 bucks for it, which is really good. I know what they retail for. Um, once again, this is Over the Chocolate Shop by 4160. And the last one, um, I saved, I saved this. I got this actually today, but I've been looking for it for a while. Um, um, in May, it was my birthday month. My girlfriend and my best friend surprised me and, uh, with a trip for my 40th to Miami. And we went to the, um, the fashion district down in Miami. They have all the top, you know, high end fashion, Louis Vuitton, Celine, Balenciaga, Chanel, you know, all, all those high end fashion, you know, Companies, so I went to Wyatt, the St. Laurent store, and I was just, you know, perusing, looking what stuff I can afford, what I can't afford. Just, you know, came across this dark fragrance, and I mean, I was just, whew, I was like, man, I, at the time, I was like, ah, I think I can find it online, and couldn't, and I mean, like, I've been looking for this fragrance for the last six months for a reasonable price one thing that's coming from i think i need to make another video about like collecting and like the process so um this long story short you know if you've if you can't find something be patient it'll come to you um the one i'm bring, talking about is rule 37 is is ysl's private line um this is oud and iris if you're not ready for it, it is it's different it's dark it lasts god maybe i'm i'm trying i sprayed it on this morning and it's still there so we're going on maybe about six hours of right now but it is oud and iris like that's that's the best way to describe it hence the dark bottle um been looking for this this is a, probably my best pickup of all year because i really liked it. it brings me back to that memory of um being down there with two of the two of my favorite people um once again that is rue 37 by ysl saint laurent um retail you're gonna pay 280 i paid a little less than that but it took some time trying to find this you really don't see that many reviews i may i may do a review on this and a couple more that um that i don't see a review on just you know just get the information out there to the masses so um 
that's my pickups for 2023. If you have survived 20 minutes of me rambling on, I appreciate it. Um, but to my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and if what are your pickups for the 2023? If you're getting started or if this is your first year, um, comment below and I'll, I'll reply to them. Happy holidays to everybody. And I plan to make another video soon before the new year. And happy holidays again to the next one, y'all. Peace.